Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Mike with my buddy here, Roy, the Frenchie. He just arrived. He just got dropped off, and then we're going for our little walk. And he just finished using the bathroom. Once he gets back inside, we'll offer him food. He's, look at him. <laughs> He sees another dog. <laughs> Come here, crazy. He's gonna try to pounce on this dog. Hi. <laughs> How you doing? Hey, how's it going? All right, cute dog. <laughs> How old is your Shiba? Is Shiba you know, right? He's around four. Four years old. How about the, how about it? Oh, uh, I think he's like two. I'm just watching him for somebody. Oh. Uh, yeah. He looks friendly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Have a nice day. Yeah. Come on, Roy. So Roy's been coming here for, for quite some time. Yeah, he loves playing around with the other dogs. He's just scoping out the area. We're gonna go for a quick walk before the sun sets. He's here till Saturday morning. Today is Wednesday night. Wednesday night. So we he's gonna be here for quite quite some time. We'll be making some videos with him. He's the only dog now. I mean, I'm not watching any other dog at the moment. Where are you trying to go? More. <laughs> you done? Yeah, I'll pick that up later. He spotted somebody else. <laughs> He's really into other dogs. He's not fixed. He's, yeah, he's not neutered, so. He's always trying to do something with some other dogs. At least he doesn't mark the territory when he's inside. Yeah, he's uh, he's like two years old. He's been coming here for the past year. Often, you know, every every mo other month. He enjoys it when he gets gets here. Because he's really into other dogs. <laughs> so he plays around, chase other dogs. You know. He has no aggression. 
but he, you know how Frenchies are just like English Bulldogs. They like to charge at other dogs sometimes. Not to necessarily start a fight, but just to insert, assert their dominance. You try to act tough. Until, until the other dog react and then they, they run. Yeah, I'll take them before they get into the house. I, I like to walk them so they could get all that out of the system. So when they come inside, they don't have any accidents. He spots another dog. <laughs> like it. Sorry. How you doing? Is that necessary? Yeah, they always gonna test the other dog and see if the other dog is more dominant or they, you know, it's a dominance thing. They wanna see who's in charge, who's the alpha. And that may be a problem if you're watching like a dog that's vicious, you know, or territory. Some dogs are, um, you know, they're reactive. If you charge at a dog that's very reactive, like, you mean, you know, like if, if I have, um, if I'm watching, like this, this one dog named Apollo, he's a good dog, but if another dog comes at him like that, he's gonna try to tear him up, so. So I would make sure that they're not together. Alone, they're great dogs. Or with other dogs, they're perfectly fine. Because uh, one time, Apollo, he's a um, German Shepherd Malinois. Uh, one time, I was watching these two other Frenchies. Um, and the other two Frenchies, they both charge at him. And <laughs> I had to run outside. Like, I, this was in the backyard. I had to run outside and get Apollo to drop one of them. Because he already <laughs> grabbed one of them by the, behind the neck. <laughs> and I was like, drop it. <laughs> and then Apollo dropped it. Frenchie and the Frenchie, of course, ran. And um, I was like, ah, you guys can't play together. But Apollo's a sweet, sweet dog. You know, it's very playful, very nice with humans, very nice with other dogs. But he's very reactive if another dog is coming at him, you know, in an aggressive manner like charging at him, or testing him out. He doesn't, he doesn't take any, any of that stuff. And the way Frenchies are wired is like, they're gonna do that. They do that with themselves, with each other. 
Always testing, testing each other out. English Bulldogs too. It's, it's really quiet in the park today. That's because it's about to get dark. And it's a um, weekday. Come on. Here's another thing that all bull breeds have in common. They're all stubborn. A lot of them, most of them, very stubborn.
Come on, bro, let's go. Yeah, so if you guys have any questions about Roy, Frenchies, um, yeah, just comment and I'll get back to the, all those questions. Any questions you, have, you guys have, I'll get back to it. You guys thinking of doing dog boarding, Rover, let me know, I could, you know, um, I, I'll give you guys some guidance, just uh, type up the questions, you know, and I'll be glad to help you guys to start it, give you some tips and uh, tricks, knowing how to just, because it could be, it's easy work, but it could be challenging if you're not doing it the right way, if you're not, you, you know, you can't accept every single dog. So you got to screen which dogs you take in. But yeah, um, make some decent money doing this. And, and I love the animals. I love the dogs. I haven't done cats yet. I have, my own, I have two of my own cats. And, and I had cats, you know, growing up. We had cats in the house. I don't know, we much harder. To, <laughs> yeah, it's much harder to watch a stranger's cat, you know? Like, you don't know, they, the cat don't know you, you don't know. Man, it'll be, I could imagine, it'll be difficult, you know? But, um, I should try one day. And, I, you know, I'm already doing it right with the dog, so that's why I, I, I don't, Cause it'll be hard to mix the two together, you know? Cats and dogs that live together for a while, they're okay. But you introduce a brand new cat to a brand new dog and you might have a lot of problems in your hand. But dog boarding is pretty cool. Okay. Yeah. Um, half of it was on Rover. Then I built up my own clientele. And wrote them out too. You know, I do a good job. So people um, refer me to their neighbors, their friends, co workers. And, yeah, so this is, this is like the slow season right now so around thanksgiving around um christmas yeah it's gonna pick up a bit and then um then after that it's like um, valentine's day picks up a bit then spring comes around but definitely it's it's gonna be rolling until the end of summer again Yeah, last year, I was, yeah, I, I was watching quite a few dogs nonstop. My prices were lower, so I had a lot more people come to me. And I, I was, like, being overworked. I was like, oh, man, I got to Then I raised up the price. You know, did less work. Still got paid about the same. He wants to go this way. He wants to go check out those. He wants to see what, what these decorations are about.
so this is like the intake of a dog now you know a dog first comes in i walk them around the neighborhood for about 30 minutes or so depending on how they behave some dogs i have to walk a little longer and some dogs i take them right in right away i mean like five minutes of walking you know they well behave and they're not they're not they don't get sick they're not they don't come here being sick already and i look out for like if they have any you know if they limping or they have diarrhea or they looking lethargic mm -hmm. I look out for all the signs of them being sick. We gotta go home, bud. Gotta go this way. <laughs> I know you be going home. You trying to avoid that direction. Yeah, I was talking about Apollo earlier. In fact, I think next week Apollo is coming here. The German Shepherd Malinois. It looks more like a Malinois. I can manage. I manage him. You know, it's all about how you handle the dogs. So he listens to me. I keep a close eye on him, but. He, and um, yeah, nothing, nothing crazy ever happens to, in my house with the dogs. If I didn't trust them, they win. I win both with the clients. Oh uh, yeah, if you're thinking of doing dog boarding or dog sitting, I would recommend that you especially at, at the beginning when you're first starting out do a meet and greet with the clients and some dogs you might want to do two or three meet and greets on different occasions you know if it's a breed that is like that has the potential to be vicious see a, a, a owner will think that oh this dog is nice because the dog is always nice with them but for new person, especially if you're doing dog sitting, you're walking into their house with the owners not there and it's just a just a dog. If it's like a Malino or or a Dogo, Argentino, some you know one of those, you gotta make sure the dog is really familiar with you. You ready to go in now? Yeah, it looks like he's, he, he probably think there's other dogs in there. He's like ready to have fun. But yeah, thanks for watching. I, you know, I'm gonna conclude this video right now, but tomorrow morning I'll probably post another video with this guy. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, and leave a comment. All right, have a good one, bye. <laughs>